This is an area that has never been studied before. It's curious because the Sharifian posts, the local posts, uh, existed in Morocco uh, between 1890 and 1913. And uh, in fact, there was a strong sort of Gibraltar dimension to some of these posts. And no one has ever written a book on these posts, why they arose, how they operated, and why they failed in some cases and ended in others. What exactly is Sharifian Post? The Sharifian Post was the post which was created by the Sultan of Morocco. Now, the Sultan, in the 19th century, allowed Britain, France, Spain and Germany to operate postal services in Morocco because he was not interested in running his own postal service until he realised that he could make money out of it. And then he created the Sharifian Post in 1892. Well, the book includes new material, so how difficult has it been to research? Very difficult, because obviously one has to go into archives and look in corners where perhaps people haven't looked before. So I co-wrote this book with a friend called Maurice Hadida in Paris. I looked at the Gibraltar uh, National Archives and I obtained the material that we have over here regarding the postal service in Morocco. And Maurice did the same for the French National Archives in Nantes and La Courneuve. One author in Paris, one author in Gibraltar. How did you actually write it? Well, this is where the internet comes awfully useful. So it was by emails and uh, electronic communication between us. So I would uh, obtain some of the raw data from Morris and then write it up in English. And uh, the book is actually a dual language edition in English and in French because most of the collectors of Morocco internationally are either English speakers or French speakers. So we wanted to ensure that the book could get through to the entire philatelic market that was interested in this subject. And it is very much aimed at philatelists. Oh yes, this is, this is a limited edition. It was printed uh, by the Royal Philatelic Society in London and it is aimed at philatelists. There's a lot of social history involved as well and a, a lot of the fascinating uh, machinations of the period, which impacted hugely on Gibraltar at the time, because there was enormous instability in the whole region, particularly when you had a very weak sultan in Morocco, a boy, when you had uh, a regent in Spain, because the king uh, was uh, an infant. So the whole of the region, geographically and geopolitically, was really, really tense. And these were the years leading up to the Algeciras Conference in 1906, the partitioning of Morocco when the two protectorates were set up. So it, it's a, a lot of politics going on behind the scenes which are disguised by these innocent postage labels. How pleased are you that this obviously hard work has been recognised? Well, it is a, a matter of, of huge pride that uh, a book, uh, which I had the major part in, in writing, has been awarded a gold medal at an international exhibition where the jury, of course, are international leaders in the field and that they have recognised that this is a book of merit. And it obtained 93 points out of a possible 100. So that is a very high score indeed and a matter of great satisfaction. And also, of course, I am pleased that Gibraltar's impact on the philatelic scene should be uh, recognised in this particular way.